<laughs> uh, what's happening, everybody? Isn't she beautiful? Yes, she is, whether you agree or not. But, so... <clears throat> Yeah, if you can hear that, that is a jet boat on the lake. Yeah, I'm close. So, uh, where should we start? Okay, so there's a uh, a passage in the <clears throat> in the Bible. It says, uh, "Well, most all the prophets, whenever they." Uh, speak of heaven they say something along the lines they see the living creatures up there the four-faced creatures or whatever you want to call them the living beings the angels seraphim whatever uh, around the throne crying holy 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 is the lord god almighty yes three times holy Uh, we could go somewhere with that. But <clears throat> that's not what I want to get to. What I want to get to is the next phrase. The earth is full of his glory. That's what that's what it says. That's what it says next. And in other places it says uh, uh, um, well, other places it says the earth is full of his glory. The earth is full of the glory of the Lord. Okay, that's what I want to get to. The earth is full of his glory. Okay, now you might <clears throat> you might have some uh, thought in your head like I used to that maybe the glory of the Lord is just some majestic radiance. <laughs> okay. I'm laughing because the 12 year old me in my head said uh, that's two ten dollar words in a row somebody owes me <clears throat> but uh but seriously you might be thinking wrongly thinking I might add or shallow we thinking is that a word that the earth is some full of uh, some majestic radiance we can't see but uh I want to present this for your consideration. That uh, nine billion deep, the earth is full of humans. The earth is full of people. Yet, the earth is full of his glory. Selah. Pause and calmly think on that one now, I haven't really ever heard anybody preach on that that I can recall I know it popped out of my mouth one time I think at Bible college preaching a five or ten minute sermon one time uh, not saying I'm the only one that come up with that I'm not saying that at all maybe others have maybe somebody has a in-depth teaching I'm not so you know, full of myself to think that someone doesn't, some, hey, somebody could have preached a whole sermon series on it. I don't know. But I was just thinking earlier today that uh, the earth is full of his glory. Where'd I, where'd I get that? Let me, let me, let me explain. Okay, so the other day, actually, I say the other day, but it could have been months ago. Ellie, you're about to fall off the hammock. So, uh, <clears throat> I said, I don't have a TV, and I don't, and I also said, and I don't even have a, VC or a VCR, <laughs> a VCR, I don't have one of those either because I don't have a TV, but I, don't, I don't, didn't have a microwave, and I didn't need one at the time, but I said I'm not going to get one until the Lord gives me one. And I said that not for someone to give me a microwave, okay? I just said that 
it's not something I need at the time when the time's right the Lord will provide and he did okay uh, many times in the past few months uh, we see I've, in the past couple of years I've, it's been a breaking time for me and as my outer man my emotions and everything have been broken the real me on the inside has been able to come out and to hear God better, follow Him better, to pour Him out to others better, the earth is full of His glory. Let His glory out, if you will. <clears throat> that being said, I want to um, prophesy something to you. Or, another way to say that would be present something to you that is going to happen in the future. Guaranteed. Just like the microwave, and thank you, by the way, for the lady who the Lord spoke to and delivered the microwave unto yours truly. Uh, and thank you, Miss Lori, by the way. I see your heart. Heart you too. <laughs> um... So, I know for sure that uh, my days of working, say, for a company full-time uh, are numbered, just like all our, all our days are numbered to do anything, but I know ministry is going to shift and it's going to take over not that it's not full time already i i minister full time already but uh i do it through my job my job gets me in people's houses because i work for a security company a home security company and they let me in covid or no covid whatever come on in fix my alarm yes i think i will by the way here's the glory of god that just invaded your domain that you gave the authority you allowed this authority in your house now the kingdom's taken over okay that's what happens uh, that's what happens everything you can imagine might potentially happen it does happen God shows up on the scene he does the work I just sneak him in there okay so that being said, I'm currently renting a house, renting a place, but I have a vision of this. Now, it may be strange, maybe y'all have seen it before, maybe you haven't, but I want to tell you about this so when it happens, maybe some of your minds will be blown or maybe it'll cause faith to rise up in you because this is getting ready to happen in the next couple of years. Uh... The only challenging part to what I'm getting ready to tell you, because I can do all this, what, I tell you, what I'm telling you, I can build it all myself, but uh, I, the challenging part is I'm going to believe that someone puts it all together for me. Now, it would be too easy for me to say, blah, 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 house, blah, 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 in some place, you know, that's too... Uh, too broad of a whatever random whatever so this I'm gonna get real specific with you if you heard something chomping that's who's chomping right there <clears throat> specifically I'm going to acquire wow look at this shiny forehead that's the glory of the Lord shining through Okay, you should have known there was a glory something coming. <clears throat> All right. So, hear me out. Specifically, possibly a lake lot or two or three or five. A place big enough to have a garden. Right? 
And have you seen those uh, RV sheds? Okay, this is going to be a combination RV shed with a garage shed on the next side, on the side, with a real shed with a locking door in it. A place to park a vehicle on the right, place to pull a motor home in straight on the left of that because the motorhome doors will be on the right okay that's one side then on the right side of that we're moving from left to right tiny home facing the same way maybe one of those office sheds or something long ways coming out this way on the right side of that the exact same thing as the other side except inverted the other way the little shed with the driveway shed then another motorhome shed which is going to have my camper trailer pulled in there backed in there i should say now jeremy where's your camper i don't have one <clears throat> where's your motorhome i don't have one the ex sold it and then she reneged on helping me get another one back when she left it's a whole mess so uh, I had to start over. That's okay, that's fine. That's why I know I have seed in the ground for this setup. So why all this? Why, what are you talking about all this stuff? Because the ministry is going to be a traveling ministry. If you know me, you already know. I was, that's what I was called to do. If you, especially if you've known me the past 10, 12 years, that's just that's what I do. It's what the Lord called me to do. And uh, so when I need the motor home, I'll back it out and I'll drive it. Now, it's going to be plugged in, yes. Both, both sides are going to be plugged in. Well, why the tiny home thing in the middle, whatever? This is, this is going to be my base, right? My office. This is going to have my, my bed in it. If I ever get one. <laughs> uh, but the motorhome will have a bed. The camper have a bed. You know, I'm going to live in all this when I'm there. I'll, I'll be using all of it. They'll both be plugged in. This is what I'm getting at. They're both ready to go at all times. Uh, they're packed. They're stocked. They're ready to back up, hook up to, and go. This is my home address where this whole setup's at yet I can still get in the motor home and go if I need to or hook up to the trailer and go if I need to well which how are you gonna know which one you're gonna use I don't know the Lord will tell me uh, only only a daddy can love that face back there so this is the vision Am I asking for help to make it come to pass? No, I'm not. I'm just telling you. So whenever it does come to pass, you're going to be like, dang, man, maybe I'm going to have to start taking this guy serious. And I'm going to tell you right now, you should already be taking me serious. But if you don't, hey, that ain't, that ain't going to bother me none. You're just going to be behind. Get him. Get him. Ellie, get him. She ain't gonna get him. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to share. The earth is full of His glory, and His glory will manifest on this earth. And His glory is people coming out of people. Well, it was nice seeing you this Saturday afternoon. Find yourself a Bible-believing church to go to in the morning and go, man. Let me let me tell you, go. The Lord is speaking to His people. Revival is happening right now. People are just flocking, flocking into worship uh, places of worship. Uh, the word has never been so easy to share. Uh, just in public in my everyday life than it is right now. The Lord is preparing hearts. Uh, He's bypassing people's minds. Uh, the people who are hard are being even more hardened. And the people who are being 
and softened. Already the fields are ripe for harvest. Go do your thing. Uh, do what he told you to do. You'll be a great success. And I'll see you in the next video. You know that.